Hello, I went to the NEC caravan camping and motorhome show and I learned some interesting information, plus news on the ID Buzz camper and saw lots and lots of conversions. The show in February is the smaller of the two annual shows for this industry, which are held at the NEC in Birmingham. But I do actually have some news on that as well. There are five halls at this show featuring lots of camper vans, vans, motorhomes, caravans, and lots of really good products on display. Got stand up paddle boards, kayaks, bikes, even boats. There's actually an indoor pool. You can actually try out kayaks and paddle boards. There's tents, there's awnings, there's all sorts of camping accessories, cooking equipment, drinking equipment, you name it, anything for camping, tenting, caravanning motorhomes, it is at this show. I could have spent an absolute fortune. Anyway, so what's the news? The first is in relation to the VW Transporter and vehicles are still slow coming through off the production line. There's a shortage of certain components which are preventing these from actually being built. Now you might have noticed that the vehicles which are coming through at the moment are generally start lines because some of the components for the High Line aren't available. The reversing camera, the electric wing mirrors, these aren't readily available at the moment so they're actually coming through in fewer numbers expectation is that hopefully the supply of these components will be more readily available during the later part of the year so hopefully we should start seeing a few more of the higher spec vehicles coming through and to add to that some more big news as far as i'm concerned now the color bay leaf green is the color i really personally like now this was discontinued by volkswagen well, actually only on the Transporter because it is still available in a lot of the other models. But I have heard that if a dealer had specced a vehicle when you could still do, and that vehicle order hasn't actually been fulfilled yet, it means Volkswagen still actually have it listed to be fulfilled in Bayleaf Green. So maybe, maybe if I could get a really good finance deal, I might be able to get one. Doubtful, but there is hope because the colour is still going to be available. Next, and in ID Buzz News, I walked around some of the stands and I was really surprised I didn't see an ID Buzz camper. There wasn't actually any there, so I spoke to a few of the companies to find out why. And they said they're still working on it. It is actually a work in progress, but they haven't actually finalised the final design yet, so they're not actually putting them out to market. But the general consensus does seem to be that it isn't actually going to be the model which is out at the moment, the short wheelbase. It will be the long wheelbase variant, which will be the better option for these camper van conversions. But there is still a concern with regards to the weight of the vehicle. Now, this added weight is actually also going to affect the range of the vehicle. Now, we know obviously putting more goods in the vehicle is going to limit that range. And our range, which is currently 258 miles but it isn't 258 miles and especially in the winter it certainly isn't 258 miles so once you've put all your kit in there and people in there as well you are going to see that depleted and that is one of the concerns which these conversion companies have actually got now a bigger battery would help with that but again a bigger battery is actually going to mean additional weight so is it actually going to solve the problem now these conversion companies are hot on it, they are working hard away, so hopefully sometime soon we might see a real life example of a proper ID Buzz camper. However, there is a full electric camper van conversion available, which I saw at the show, and this is based on the Toyota Pro Ace all electric vehicle. This is a full electric four berth camper, fully kitted out with your kitchen, your bed and your pop top, a full blown camper. Now this, on paper, has got a mileage range for the 70 kilowatt hour battery of 205 miles and 144 for the 50 kilowatt model. But that is based purely on the base van. That's before you've added the additional weight of the bed and the kitchen units and all the other bits. So actually, what is that real world range going to be we're going to have to wait and see next a news on the actual nec show this one the february show 
I actually heard from one of the people on the stands that this is slash could be the last February show at the NEC for the caravan camping and motorhome. And apparently, allegedly, don't take 100% my word from it, this is only a conversation I had with somebody on one of the stands, that it's going to actually be axed and you're going to have a bigger show in the October. So the October show, which is already massively bigger than the one in February, it's going to be bigger and actually go on for longer. But this is a little bit disappointing because a lot of the people who were there this last week were there to buy new gifts, new gadgets, new accessories, possibly a new van, possibly a new caravan, something for the holidays this year. It's always exciting to get a new chair. Oh, that'll be brilliant for in a few weeks when we can get down back down to the caravan. In October, it's the end of the season and you're just looking at next year's models and you've not got that excitement. The summer's over, you're not doing it anymore. Well, most people aren't doing it anymore. So it seems a bit of a shame that the exciting let's get out for spring show might not be there. I hope it isn't true because it is always good to get those new products ready for the new season. Gonna have to wait and see, I guess. Now back to transporters. There were some lovely vans on show, some really, really nice examples, lots of different conversions with alternative layouts, nice leather upholstery, classy upgrades, and some of the other high standards. NEC approved converters showing off the quality vans. There was actually a purple van, which really did get quite a lot of attention. In fact, there was two. And one of them, when I walked into the show, it was for sale. When I walked out later on, it had been sold. High quality spec vehicle. Somebody purchased it on the day. People are still buying brand new vans at good money. And I did speak to other companies and they'd also sold units as well. So new vans, new conversions are selling well at the moment. Look at some of these vans. They are really appealing to the eye. And with some of these being NCC approved, VW approved conversions, they're actually built to the highest specifications of safety as well. These are the types of conversions which I'm really interested in. And I've got to say, I prefer them to the VW California. Now these transporters are really nice. And as you know, they are what I really want. I did get speaking to somebody else who was actually at the show and they were saying to me, they're just too small, you know, you can't do everything you want to do in them, but they are a different vehicle to the motorhomes. It, it, it's a different kind of buyer. But if you are struggling for space, but you do want a transporter, because let's face it, I use my transporter as a daily driver, as a lot of other people do. You can't really get a motorhome to use as a daily driver, but there is an option. Yes, obviously you can take an awning, you can buy an awning, there's loads at the show, but there's also another option. A teardrop trailer or a teardrop micro caravan. These look fantastic. They aren't just a bed on wheels though, they come fully kitting out with cooking facilities, fridge, heating system, electrics, solar panel, and even a TV. There are several versions of these available, but if you're looking for that extra indoor space, this could well be an option for you. Or you could just buy a full-size caravan, hitch it on the back, and have absolutely tons of space with all the mod cons and modern gadgets. There were lots of products on display, lots of gadgets, accessories, lots of things to buy, including, as I've said, all the paddle boards and, and things like that. And a lot of people were buying things. I saw a lot of people walking around with Ridge Monkey, camping gas, gas bottles, Avtex TVs, saw quite a few of them knocking around and they had their own stand, which was pretty impressive. If you're looking for a high quality TV for your motorhome, your caravan or your camper van, Avtex is the brand to buy. But one of my favorites from the show itself was the Van Gogh heated chair. This, I think, would be brilliant. When those evenings start getting a little bit colder, but you still wanna sit outside, you've got your fire in front of you, but everything else is not particularly warm. One of these heated chairs by a USB, which slips into the side of the pocket, fantastic. I think that could well be on the top of the shopping list. Yes, that ever growing list, which we obviously all have as camper van owners, but back to transporters. And I actually had the pleasure of meeting 
the man behind the conversions which you've seen on my two recent videos from Tamar Caravan Center and that was the owner of bespoke campers and I did actually tell him that I didn't believe it existed when I first got told about it because obviously having a a higher spec ticking all these boxes products compared to a product which doesn't and the one which doesn't is a lot more expensive it obviously doesn't make any sense more on this is coming soon but I had an in-depth conversation and it was really interesting to find out the drivers behind coming up with his products and making sure that all the boxes were ticked as far as the approvals and the safety tests the passion behind the product and the continuous striving to actually improve it and i also saw some of the other options in the flesh some of the different floor coverings the upholstery fabrics for the seats the leather upholstery and also the different colors of the cabinets and actually a work surface which is darker than the solid oak one and i think i might actually like that it might go well with what I've got in my head for what I would like in my conversion if I had the money to get one. And speaking to him actually made me want one of these vans even more. I am now 100% certain I want one of these vans. And if you're not sure why I do and why they are better than a lot of the other conversions, then I do explain a little bit more in this video here, but a lot more of that coming in the future. Thanks for watching. Take care. I hope to see you soon.